Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. In the Hebrew, Yahweh Shai is His only begotten Son, our Savior, the the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ. And peace be upon the house of David, which is the elect, by Yahweh Shai da the men, women, and children that is uh, elected to be saved in these last days, all right, from the nation of Israel. All right, um, just want to get into this uh, quick um, news article I came across uh, from the Associated Press. Um, it's entitled, Judge to Trump, No Protection for Speech Inciting Violence. All right, and, um, you know, basically when I read this, um, when I read this uh, article, man, it just had me thinking that, you know, these devils are going to, you know, use this, um, this angle as a way to try to get, um, as a way to, you know, try to get brothers off the street and then ultimately for a way to, uh, you know, suppress, you know, this word from coming out, all right? Because here it is, the judge told uh, Donald Trump, which is, you know, the the president of the United States, you know, the highest office in, in the in the so-called United States, that he is responsible, um, his words is responsible for inciting violence, all right? You know, basically during his campaign, you know, the way he was speaking, it made uh, his um, his uh, supporters, you know, react uh, violently. And people started suing Trump because of it. And the judge actually said that um, Trump couldn't use the, uh, um, the amendment or the uh, law of freedom of speech because what he was saying was actually um, putting people in harm's, in harm's way. You know, so I'm going to read this, man. And, and you know, basically... When you look at this, you know, from the scriptural uh, uh, view of, you know, from a view of what, you know, brothers are out there prophesying, you know, they can easily say that what we're doing, the scriptures that we're reading, it um, could it could entice somebody to do uh, to, to do violently. All right. Because the scriptures speaks about, you know, revenge. It speaks about recompense. It speaks about um, death. It speaks about judgment. OK. And that's all by the uh, uh, all sanctioned by the Heavenly Father Yahweh uh, by Yahweh Shai alright but this this devil he wants to he wants to stop this word from going out so he can easily say oh the Bible uh, entices you know the way you read the Bible is it's, it's enticing people to violence alright so I'm gonna read this man you know brothers you know just gotta be aware you know of of how this devil is moving man because you know ultimately which is, it's a prophecy that you know there's going to be a famine of the word so um this came out it says april 1st 2017 which was on saturday it says a federal judge has rejected president donald trump free speech defense against a lawsuit accusing him of inciting violence against protesters at a campaign rally trump's lawyers sought to dismiss the lawsuit by three protesters who say they were roughed up by his supporters at a March 1st, 2016 rally in, Lu in Louisville, Connecticut, uh, Kentucky. They argued that Trump didn't intend to, he didn't intend for his support supporters to use force. Two women and a man say that they were shoved and punched by, audi by audience members at Trump's command. Much of it was captured on video in widely broadcast during the campaign showing trump pointing at the protesters and repeating get them out judge david j hale of louisville ruled friday that the suit against trump and his and his campaign and three of his supporters can proceed <coughs> excuse me hell found ample facts supporting allegations that the protesters injuries Injuries were a direct and proximate result of Trump's actions and noted that the Supreme Court has ruled out constitutional protection for speech that incites violence. So right there, you know, the you're not protected by the Constitution uh, under the um, guise of free speech if what you're saying is enticing others to do violently. All right. Not even if you're telling them. You know, uh, I want you to do this, this, and that. But if you speaking in a certain way that may that may make some of your hearers or some of your supporters or somebody that you know listens to you uh, act violently, you could be in trouble. Okay. And now you know 
brothers out there that are prophesying, you know, uh, we put our videos out on on the, on the on the YouTube. You know, we have there's people that follow us. That a lot of the people that follow us, we don't know them. Okay, you got a lot of people that that claim to be in this truth, but you have a lot of agents. Okay, and and the Satan, you know, these devils, uh, 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 these elites can use this as a as a way to you know get brothers uh, uh, entrapped, man. You know, trying to say, oh, you know, just have an agent out there saying that, oh. I heard, you know, uh, I heard, you know, the man of valor say this. Or I heard, you know, the other brothers say this, or you know, any brothers that's out there teaching, you know, that call themselves Hebrew Israelites that prophesy in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they could just say, oh, the brother, the, I was listening to these brothers and and they enticed me to go to go, you know, uh, kill kill or injure or Edomite, you know. And we've never said, you never want to see a, a true. Uh, a prophet go out and, and and say to go harm anybody man you know the scripture says wait ye upon me i'm gonna get that scripture real quick you know but th these devils could easily use this as a ploy to try to uh get you know the the the, the, uh, the prophets off the streets man and you know these devils you know scripture says we're not ignorant of saying devices man they going they going to try to do something but our message is a wait is a wait upon the lord man all right this is what the lord told us to do Zephaniah 3 and 8 says, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the, with fire, with the fire of my jealousy. So right there, man, the Lord told us to wait, and that's what you're going to see the true men and women of the Lord do, all right? You're going to see the true men, specifically of the Lord, wait upon him until he gives us that power to rise up against these devils, man, all right, to rise up against our adversaries. But once again, you know, we do say that what? There's going to be race wars, okay? And you got people out there that comes on our comment board say that we're race baiting. And we're saying according to the scriptures, the scripture says that what? Nation shall rise against nation and kingdom, and kingdom against kingdom, all right? The, the scripture says that what? That Jacob shall, be, shall have his hands in the neck of his enemies, all right? Jacob being, you know, the Israelites. So somebody could hear that, you, all right? And these devils could try to use that, these scriptures, to try to say that we're enticing people to, to commit violence because the scripture says that that uh, a nation is going to rise up against nation. You know, they, they try to call us race baiters and try to say that uh, we're, we're, you know, uh, a violent, a violent uh, hate group. You know, they got, got, got us even labeled as a terrorist group, a domestic terrorist group. So here it is. You got this uh, article saying that uh, men... That you could be held responsible for your for your speech, okay? If if it if it makes somebody else do something violently, so that's how they're gonna even that's how they're gonna get the the, the scriptures, you know? That's how they're gonna get the, the Bible from stop being preached, man, because they're gonna try to use something like this, man. All right, that's why we brothers, like I said, man, you gotta be aware. And this devil, man, he's he's about ready to crack down. He's about ready to uh uh to uh uh um, scripture says what that. He's going to come uh, uh, hard hard upon the, the land for, you know, he has but a short time, you know, not verbatim, okay? This devil knows that he's going down, so that now, he's, now he's going around his own constitutional laws saying that, you know, there's no there's no protection for free speech, free speech now, all right? So I'm going to uh, keep reading. It says, it is plausible that Trump's direction to get him out of here advocates the use of force, the judge wrote. It was an order, an instruction, a command, okay? So we never commanded or ordered anybody to um, do any violence, man, all right? We say what? That the Lord is going to, is going to do this judgment, okay? So now they could just, they could, you know, say what? Well, the, the scriptures are, is, is given an order, you know, for, um, for, for uh, race, race rights, or they could say the scriptures is given an order to, to recompense, you know, tribulation to those that trouble you. All right, but the Lord, like I said, man, like the scripture says that the Lord said, wait ye upon him. Okay, you know, and ultimately, this is who they got a problem with, really. All right, they really got a problem with the scriptures, they really got a problem with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so I'm read on it says, Plaintiff, um, uh, uh, Kashia, Nag uh, Nagama, Mali Shai, and Henry Bros Brosua. 
alleged that they were physically attacked by several members of the audience, including Matthew Himbach, Alvin Bamberger, and an unnamed def defendant. They have yet to they have yet to be identified. Bamberger later apologized to the Korean War Veterans Associates Association, whose uniform he wore at the rally. Um, I'm just gonna skip down this. Go to um, right here. It says the judge also declined to remove allegations that Nugama, an African American, was the victim of racial, ethnic, and sexist slurs from the crowd at, at the rally. At the rally. This context may support the plaintiff's claim of negligence and excitement by Trump and his campaign, the judge said. While the words themselves are repulsive, repulsive, they are relevant to show that the atmosphere in which the alleged in, uh, events occurred, he hell wrote. So just because the atmosphere, you know, uh, uh, um, they saying that, you know, based basically how the atmosphere of what Donald Trump was saying cause the people that were listening to react a certain way okay and, and like i said man this devil is going to try to he's going to try to use the same same uh uh, uh scheme to try to uh, get brothers from from stop teaching the word of the lord man all right it says reading on lawyers for trump and his campaign also argued that they cannot be held liable because they had no duty to the plaintiffs who assumed the risk of injury when they decided to protest at the rally. The judge countered that under the law, every person, listen to this, every person has a duty to every other person to use care to prevent foreseeable injury. So now, these saying under the law that every every person has a responsibility to another uh, to another person to uh, to um, prevent uh, foreseeable injury. You know. That doesn't even make any sense, man. So I, I, I'm responsible for somebody else's actions, okay? That's that's basically what this you now. That's basically what this federal judge has said. Now you know once they got this on the books, if it's federal, then that means it goes throughout the whole land. All right. So it says in sum, the court finds that the plaintiffs has uh, adequately alleged that their harm was foreseeable and that the Trump's defendants had a duty to pre to prevent it. The judge ruled referring to the case of a federal uh, magistrate, Judge H. Brent uh, Brennanstall, to handle preliminary litigations, discovery, and settlement efforts. So, basically, Trump basically is, is uh, being sued and saying that um, he caused, his speech, his speech caused uh, people to react violently. So, you read the scriptures... You know, and, and this is the same thing that happened with the ancient prophets, man. You know, when they was reading, you know, when, uh, the, the apostles, you know, uh, when they was out there teaching, hey, riots broke out. Now, the apostles never said to go and actually fight anybody, but the words that they were saying, it pricked people, okay? It pricked people to the soul, and it, and it caused riots to break out. So this is Acts 24, verse, uh, uh, start at 5. It says... For we have found, this is talking about Paul, for we have found this man a pestilent fellow and a mover of sedition among all the Jews throughout the world, and a ringleader of the sect of the and a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. So right here they called uh, Paul a pestilent fellow. You know, you look up that word pestilent, pestilence, a, a plague, or pest, alright? And it says that a mover of sedition. Look up that word sedition. It says what? A controversy, you know? Hey, you know, when we go out there, you know, uh, um, demons be reacting to what we're saying, and it's always a controversy, man. You know, brothers always got people that's coming up that, that gets pricked to the soul, you know, get cut, and they want to react, you know, uh, they want to get loud, you know, they want to get ambitious, you know, and, and it, cause a, it cause a controversy, okay? It says an uh, insurrection, a strife, or uh, a standing station, dissension. So... You know they what they labeled us the, the 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 most hateful group in the, in in, the, in America, all right. So don't don't marvel if if you start to if you know brothers start to see you know these devils come at us on this on this type of angle, man, because they already got it on the books and they already have it. You know, saying that um, that there's no um, there's no protection for free speech. 
if it causes somebody else to commit uh, harm to somebody. Now, we don't, like I said before, I'll say it again, we don't tell anybody to go out there and commit harm, but this devil could use agent provocateurs to say that they was listening to us and they read, they, they heard the scriptures that we read. Like, for instance, I get this, uh, Isaiah 14 and 21, right? They can say that we heard the, these guys say this, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquities of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. And they can hear that we said that and say, well, they told me to prepare slaughter for his children. And they said that his children is is, is um, referring to the so-called white, so-called white man, the Edomites. So then not just now they can say, well, there's no protection for free speech. And what you said caused somebody to uh, co go go com um, commit a harm to somebody else, you know? Yeah, these devils, man, like I said, the scripture said, don't be ignorant of Satan's devices, all right? Here it is. They're saying that you got free speech, and if we read the Bible, which they're trying to say, you know, they, they tell you to swear on the Bible, you know. Donald Trump had a swear on the Bible. He swore on the Bible when he got sworn into office, but when we read this, scriptures, the scriptures has, has judgments in it, man, and some of the judgments are violent judgments, okay, which the Lord is going to do, all right? The Lord is going to Give certain men that spiritual power to do what to in, to 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 enact his his judgments, man. You know, get it's just get another uh, one for example. You know, and that's why they're trying to you know cut down on, you know uh, uh um you know internet. You know they're gonna shut down the internet. They're gonna all all under the name of you know uh, hate speech. You know they already they already got us labeled as a, a hate group. So it ain't gonna be nothing for them to try to say that you know what you guys are are in, are are enticing people to commit um to commit uh, uh violent acts which we never told anybody to do that all right but you know we just got to be circumspect you know let me just find this next scripture this is uh it's a lot here it's ezekiel 25 and 12 you know just just another example it says what thus saith the lord yahweh power because thou has because edom has dealt has dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and has greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from Teman and day of Dedan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is saying that he's going to lay his vengeance upon Edom by the hand of his people Israel. So he's going to use Israelites to do what? To lay his vengeance upon Edom. Now somebody, this devil could set up somebody to say that I heard these prophets, these guys out there saying that the Lord is going to use use us, all right? They can actually have a Jake try to have a so-called uh, 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 Negro or Latino say, you know, they said that the Lord is going to use us and I felt like the, the Lord used me to go and commit this uh, this act verse against this uh, Edomite, you know, and they could and they could cite this this scripture saying that they heard, you know, they heard me say this or they heard, you know, an, another brother say this, you know. So, hey, man, this devil, he's going to come up. He's going to come down upon us. But what? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai said that what? That he's gonna he's gonna bring us before these synagogues and before these masterates, okay? But what? Don't think about what you what to say. In that hour, the Lord is gonna put in, in our mouths what to say, man. Okay, and we're gonna be tried. Scripture says that we're gonna be thrown in prisons, man. And this right here is evidence that they have on the books ways to stop uh, free speech, man. And they're gonna throw us in prisons. Okay, but what? Be faithful unto death, man. And the Lord should give us a crown of life. All right, it's nothing that you devils can do about this man this is the this is the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai this is his word and we're going to keep proclaiming this thing until the Lord stops us man all right so you know with that brothers stay circumspect yo know, be prepared uh uh you know mentally spiritually you know this devil is, is is seeing his kingdom going down man so gird up your loins gird up the loins of your mind gird up your faith in these times man because this devil is about to he's about to you know come down upon us man all right but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will protect us Okay, so with that, call all Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and Shalom.